And let's uh, – I want to do one mailbag question before we get into the next segment, okay? So let's just do uh, a mail – a quick – what I think is a quick mailbag question. Um, uh, and I was actually interested in this personally. This is from Jordan, and Jordan wants to know, can you buy a house with an FHA loan and flip it? That's dead silence, Jordan. So you, everybody is ba- basically saying, I don't know. No, no. Well, well, here's well the, there are here's restrictions the on that. Well, here's the simple As answer. Just, okay, give me the simple the, one. The simple answer is on the note that you uh, that you sign for uh, the, the, the promissory note mm-hmm. right. for FHA. Uh, you sign something uh, attesting that you're going to live in the property for 12 right. months. When you did the application, you did that. When you spoke to your loan officer. The answer is no. No. Next. But if I live in it, <laughs> is 12 months considered a flip? No, no. You well, have to You have to commit flip. to living there for 12 months. Well, I so I live in it, I fix it up, and then I sell but it. But I believe right? you can sell it, but you have a prepayment penalty. No. Right? no. There's no prepayment penalty. You just penalties. can't flip no. it. Or is no, there a it's considered on occupancy deed? fraud. Mm-hmm. If you okay. sell it with it inside of 12 months, it's considered occupancy fraud. You misrepresented what you were going to do with the property. Now, if if there's a extenuating circumstance, like you know something mm-hmm. happens that you can't live in the property, Your you're you're not. There, nothing can happen. Job relocation's cool. Job relocations. Um, things well, it's are not cool, of your but it's control. one of those things you can't control. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, you'd probably experience this more from the lending side. Then, so then uh, there's got to be some kind of deed restriction on there that the escrow company would recognize Basically, during the sale. Basically, no. in that stack of loan documents that you sign several times over, you're signing stating that you will be living in that property as part of the guidelines for FHA. You are owner-occupied. That's what that loan is for. So if you're not intending on doing that, that's essentially loan fraud. So. Now, now. It depends on what your definition of flip is because you're right. If you live in there for 12 months and then you decide to go and buy another house and rent that one out, you're, you're fine. That okay, no, you're so okay. here's here's my scenario, right? I buy the house. I live in it. I fix it up because I'm, a, I'm a, you know, a handy kind of guy. And uh, then I put it on the market after I've been in it for nine months knowing that I won't be able to close escrow until that 12 month period am i okay is it close of escrow then why put it on the market because then you're just going to hurt yourself yeah don't just just don't put it on the market well it's not necessarily sold until escrow closes so i can put it on the market at nine months so so basically i think the answer to the question is you can't do your typical 90 to 120 day flip but you could sell within a year the the term flip is 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 Basically uh, defined as ninety days. Yeah, that, like I like within the mortgage industry, mm-hmm. if it, it's not flipping, if it's within ninety days, that's a d- definition that they use. So it's just twelve months, and and you're fine. And you know, seriously, I don't know if anything bad is going to happen to you, but it it, it could raise red flags if you're if you're like a chronic nine month buy it and sell it. <laughs> they you could get on the you know you could get blacklisted and, and often, not get FHA anymore. I get the question well how will they know and do they send it's not like they send somebody out there i actually have been called several times by past clients that said hey somebody came over to check to see if i was there so they are checking they are showing up at your like they have enough people to do that really i'm just saying i'm not saying i'm just saying maybe it's one out of a hundred okay well another thing that they my past clients another thing that they do the state of california does with their down payment assistance programs is they'll periodically send postcards and if it comes back Back to sender, you know this person no oh, longer. Oh, that's a lot lives cheaper here. than going down there. Yeah, then then they allow. Not with the cost of stamps out there. All right. Then they'll, okay. They'll well, you know, you I was kind of curious about it myself. So, uh, Jordan, I appreciate the the question. By the way, if you want to get on involved in the mailbag, you can do it in a number of different ways. Um, uh, the best thing to do is go to our website, which is keepingitre dot com, and click on any of the icons for your favorite social network, and uh, leave us some information on any of those networks, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, you can even use good old fashioned phone call, Frank, by using five six two eight 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 Beach. You can UPS a clipboard to Frank. <laughs> there you go.